Happy Easter, everyone. You know I love celebrating all kinds of holidays here on The School Zone, and what a better way to celebrate Easter than an Easter eggs video, right? Now, I've done several Easter egg videos for Fallout 4. Links to those if you want to check them out down in the description below. But this is my first Fallout 76 Easter eggs video. Been recording weird and funny stuff here and there ever since the game came out. And today seemed like the perfect day to compile some of them for you guys to enjoy. Now I'm saving the quirky teddy bear type easter eggs for their own separate video. I have a specific series I do for those called Naughty Teddies, so I'll include those in another video. These will mostly consist of gnomes actually, since the garden gnomes have a more prolific presence in Fallout 76. Now I usually include 5 easter eggs per installment from a large collection in my recording archive, so there will definitely be more easter egg videos to come. Some of you have even emailed me with suggestions, which is great. I'll credit you in upcoming videos if I end up using them like I did in some previous videos. All right, let's get cracking. <laughs> Starting off the bunch, we have a gnome sitting in a cooking pot wearing a clown hat. He's holding a wooden spoon and almost looks like a wizard, but he could also be the master chef here, you never know. You can find this one in the kitchen area of the Mega Red Rocket in the northeastern section of the map. There are actually a few quirky easter eggs at this location if you haven't fully explored all the rooms and bathroom stalls. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, we have the baker, all we're missing is the butcher and the candlestick maker. <laughs> the next easter egg is located in the abandoned bog town, also on the eastern portion of the map. On the roof of the Red Rocket, there's an impromptu bowling lane set up with a bunch of clown toys set up as the bowling pins. Sorry, it's all rainy here. But anyway, this is especially funny since bowling pins and bowling balls actually exist in the game and they could have used those. Instead, the bowling ball is an atomic roller ball and the clowns are the pins. Unfortunately, you can't hoist up the objects in the game like you can in Fallout 4, so you can't actually do any clown bowling yourself. But someone was having a good time in the post-apocalypse. Alright, the next funny easter egg I found is at the General's Steakhouse, again on the eastern portion of the map. You can see some other landmarks here, like the Galleria. And this time we have an actual gnome garden with garden gnomes. <laughs> again, sorry it's raining. I've noticed it rains a lot more in Fallout 76 than it does in Fallout 4, but maybe that's just my luck when I'm recording. So, in the back of the cornfield, you have a whole bunch of gnomes interacting with lawn flamingos. Mourning this one, I guess. Riding this one over here, hilarious. A few more in the back. And then a couple on this toolbox. I think he's holding flowers? But this is the most gnomes I've seen at one location, actually. Too bad you can't decorate camps with these yet, but it's still cool to run into these kind of easter eggs. If you can call them easter eggs, you know. The next one I found is at Tanagra Town, just east of Harper's Ferry. Outside this abandoned shopping center is a baby carriage with two gnomes sitting in it, sharing a bottle of booze. They're both wearing sunglasses too. Pretty funny. Man, I wish we could make fine-tuned placements like that in the game, you know? But anyway, this one was a hoot. Now I doubled up on the last one since they're more like words and symbols, but check this out. Around the Camden Park area is a bus. Inside the bus is an arrangement of toy blocks that spells out the word magic. And driving the bus is a Mr. Fuzzy with a clown hat on. Again, I think it's supposed to be a wizard's hat here. Now I don't know what some of the other easter eggs are supposed to be references to. I'll leave that to you guys to proffer your guesses down in the after school club below. But this one I'm pretty sure is a reference to that kid's cartoon show, The Magic School Bus. The teacher was named Miss Frizzle I think and would take the kids on these magical learning adventures on her magic bus. Let me know if any of you guys remember that show. And the last one is a couple of unusual pumpkins that can be found on the north side of the ash heap in front of a house on the side of the road. You have this unique pumpkin here with a strange but smiley face, but then the other one actually has a cutout of the vault boy on it. Very clever. Hopefully it's not too small on your screen and you can see it. Thumbs up, people! <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to wrap up my special Easter Easter egg special. <laughs> Hope you had some fun. Like, share, and subscribe if you want more. And check out the rest of the extra credit playlist if you're new to the channel. Good times. And be back soon with another fun video. Enjoy your holiday and peace out.